Two nib clocks, very similar, but very different. Uh, this is the earlier of the two, uh, probably made in about 1675, whereas this one is actually dated 1677. Very rare that clocks are dated, but this lovely little clock is dated on the back plate 1677. So, Starting at the top, you can see the difference in the handles, which tends to be the definition of the change of his workshop from one style to the next style. But the biggest difference between these two clocks is the striking. And if you look at the dial here, the, all other clocks are like this with one, two, three, four, five, six in the silver on the dial. Roman numerals, and yet four is not a Roman numeral. Four is a Roman numeral. So this clock strikes conventionally, but it's also grand sonnery. So that if I move the hand forward for half past ten, So it not only strikes the half hour, bing, bing, but it then tells you the half hour, what was the hour. And so it strikes half past and then 10. So during the night, you can tell exactly what the time is every quarter of an hour, if you like listening to bells at night. Whereas this little clock, it doesn't strike the half hour, but when we come up to the hour, dong, dong, ding, two fives and a one, 11. And you can see just in the weight of these where the money goes, this clock is twice as heavy as this clock. And the spring energy to strike the hour, not only on the hour, but on the three quarters as well. Um, that needs a lot of spring power, and you can feel that in the clock. By making the 11 strike only three bongs, um, it saves energy. And so not only is it a unique selling feature, but it's less cost. But isn't it beautiful?